everyone, so this video is going to be a review video and I'm going to try and do these on a Monday from now on, just a kind of fairly quick review video about different things and this is a much requested review and I'm going to talk to you today about hard wax and I have dabbled in home waxing a lot. Um, I did used to always go and get my bikini professionally waxed, have a professional bikini, um, Brazilian wax, but then moving to a different place, it was really expensive and the results were never what I wanted exactly. So I decided to do it at home and I was using just regular hard wax. Um, I had various brands and then I wanted to repurchase something. And the woman that I used to go and see used to use hot wax, but she used to use fabric strips. So I decided to purchase the hot wax. This is just kind of a little background story, but I bought the Superdrug hot wax. Do not ever buy that. It is the worst wax I've ever used. I actually took it back and asked for my money back because I've never experienced a product that's that terrible. So I bought that and I bought some fabric strips on eBay. So these are just what the fabric strips looks like. They work much better than paper strips because they're kind of more bendy and obviously when you're waxing um, your kind of intimate area you need kind of to get different angles so they're just more convenient. It was a pack of about 25 for two pounds so I just bought those on eBay. And then I ordered the Gigi Hard Wax after a little bit of an embarrassing attempt at uh, home waxing with the Superdrug Wax. So, um, this had really mixed reviews and I'm going to show you it now. It looks really disgusting because I used it this morning for the second time, so it's very messy and that's something you want to know about hard wax. Get an old towel or something you don't care about and just use that because it's very, very messy. And this is what it looks like. I am going to put all the info in the down box so you can kind of see what it looked like at first, so what the packaging looks like. But it just comes in this little container like this. And it's called the Gigi Brazilian Bikini Wax Microwave Wax. So it's basically stripless wax. Now the whole concept of, of stripless wax is that you can use it without a strip. So it's very convenient in that you melt it, apply it and just tear it off. I'm not going to do a kind of demonstration because there's so many videos on YouTube out there that I don't feel like I need to add to it. But if you want to know how to apply and remove um, hard wax correctly then just put it into YouTube. There's tons and tons of really helpful videos out there so you can go and have a look. But I started doing it that way and then I realized that for certain areas, um, especially when you're doing a bikini area, that when you want to do the underneath part, you can't really do it with this type of wax because you need to have a border from which to pull the wax. So you need to kind of be able to yank it off. And if you haven't got anywhere that hasn't got hair, you're kind of picking it in, it's very painful and it's messy. So my revelation with this was that you can actually use this with fabric strips and it's amazing. So what I did was I took a fabric strip, I cut it in two, and then um, once the wax was kind of a little bit runnier than normal, that's something you really want to bear in mind when you're using hard wax, it has to be the right consistency, it has to kind of have a little bit of um, tackiness to it when you're using it to um, pull off on its own. But you want it to be just a little bit more um, smooth and kind of a little bit less thick when you're using a fabric strip. So I just applied it all on the underneath part, cut a strip into half, placed it there, pulled it and it removed all the hair in one go. It was amazing. And what I love about this is that it removes the hair in a very efficient way in that it removes the root of the hair. Every single tiny piece of hair, the root came out as well. So there was a little bit of bleeding. You don't want to be alarmed by that. It's perfectly normal. And I have actually got a strip here that I used that's still got little pieces of hair on it. This is really disgusting. I can't believe I'm showing this, but I um, just wanted to show you how it does really pull every tiny little root out. So you can see here, it attaches itself, it kind of hardens, and then it gets out every tiny little hair on the root. So you can use this anywhere. Um, I've only used it on my bikini area, but it'll be great for if you wax your eyebrows and that kind of thing. I don't, I prefer to thread mine, but it'll be great for that because you can just kind of apply it where you need and pull it off. And on your bikini area, it's just amazing. It comes with a little instruction manual, you can um, heat it. I didn't really kind of bother to do that very much just because I'm quite comfortable with it, but I, heated it up for a minute and you just kind of know how you're getting on. I used a spatula um, which is kind of in a bit of a <laughs> state because it's got dried wax on it but I just used the spatula. Um, it's a great size for kind of that type of area and I can't recommend this enough. I bought it on eBay and it was oh and I just threw wax all over my living room. That's really efficient of me. Ugh. But yeah, I bought it from eBay and it was £7.50 and it came the next day. I'm going to link the seller that I bought it from down below so you can go and have a look. But hands down, the best wax I've ever used. And how many goes you get out of this is 
kind of will vary because the first time I did it, I had um, quite a lot of growth because I was kind of waiting to do it. So I did it all and it was a wax I hadn't experienced really before so I was kind of testing out and I used more than I normally would. I would say that you could get about three goes out of this. The first go was a heavy duty I used a lot, then the second go I used this morning and I just had a little bit of fine regrowth and I prefer to kind of do it every three weeks. Um, because A, my hair grows super, super fast. It's an absolute nightmare. But it grows really, really quickly. And um, I've just, I prefer to do it when there's a little bit there. It's less of a daunting task. So you can just get the little bits and then you're smoother for longer. But if you're very lucky and you're kind of perfectly, um, you know, normal and your hair doesn't grow very fast, then you can probably get away with about um, four or five weeks. So that's really fantastic before you'll have to do it again if you're fair haired and that kind of thing. Can't recommend this enough. Total can't live without product from now on and I just thought I'd share this little review with you. I know it's really short but I thought that it would be helpful for some of you and loads of you were asking me about it. So definitely go and check it out on eBay, buy yourself a pot and just have a little play around with it and see how you feel because it is a really, really great foolproof product. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.